I would love to make a front view of this, but I'm only going to do it if this video gets five, 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 five thousand likes. Dang, I asked for 5,000 likes, I ended up getting over 10,000, so thank you so much for that, and that obviously means that we are going to do the front view of the PT Cruiser. Did the rear view a few days ago, I can't remember exactly when, maybe five or six days ago, if you haven't checked the video, go check that out first. Going to explain all the background, the the design, what we're what we want, what we're looking for in this redesign of the PT Cruiser, and all the details about that. So if you haven't checked that, I'm gonna link it up here in the corner. So go check that out first before you watch this video. Everything's gonna make a lot more sense that way. But for now, I'm gonna jump into Photoshop, talk to you about what kind of changes we want to do to the front view of this car. Uh, do we want to keep it in the same style as as the rear? Obviously, I mean, yes, we do. But what kind of graphics do we want to add to it? Do we want to remove the PT Cruiser Ness out of it, which means reduce the bump, the, the front fenders? Or what, do, what exactly are we going to do with it? That's what I'm going to talk about right now. So let's do that first before jumping into the actual redesign of the PT Cruiser front view. Alrighty, so the front view of the PT Cruiser. This is straight from the factory. It is kind of a weird looking car and I, I like that. I like when, as I said before, I like when companies kind of stretch the boundaries of what they uh, what they uh, can do or are willing to do with the design. So I want to keep some of the quirkiness in this design when we focus on the front the side. And the rear is obviously going to be the exact same thing as the rear view because we want it to be the same car. So I'm, I'm gonna have to uh, check the rear view every now and then when I redesign the front just to make sure that everything kind of fits with the rear view. With the changes that I make in the front view, I want them to uh, have a resemblance to the rear view as well. So what we're gonna focus on here is obviously this part right here. I don't like this front bumper, so this is going to change. This to me looks it looks a little bit cheap. I want to upgrade it and make it look... Uh, nowadays, everything kind of looks premium when you think about it. When you compare to the 90s and the plastic and the round corners and all of that, pretty much your Corolla today looks kind of premium when you look at the, the quality of the, of the build and the the materials. The materials might not be quali uh, high quality, but the, but the design itself the design language seems pretty more high, a lot more high end than it was in the 90s. So this is what I want to change. I want to change the bumper here. We have three parallel lines here, as you can see. And you know me, I don't like parallel lines that much, especially not in modern cars. So I'm going to change that up and break it up somehow. Have something that breaks, just some graphic or anything that breaks this up in any way possible. We're also going to uh, work on these fantastic headlights here. It looks like a happy little cloud, as uh, Bob Ross would say. Same thing here. I kind of like that they <laughs> that they used a weird shape like this for the headlights. It's such an original shape, and as soon as you see the headlight, you just know that this has to be a PT Cruiser because they added these this weird dip right here. It's almost like a like a melted Merce old Mercedes headlight or something like that. It's cool. But it's not going to fit. I'm sorry, PD Cruiser. It's not going to fit the new design language that we're going to put on this car. So that has to go as well. I'm going to reduce this curvature up here because I want it to be more sharp. So I want to have uh, almost a almost a straight line here, not not 100% straight, and create some creases in the hood here because to me that just uh, adds to the you know when i talk about uh, having some lines that wrap around the whole car so i want more of that and there there isn't a lot of that going on in this pt cruiser so i want to have some lines that kind of wrap around the car and these uh these hood lines here are going to be part of that we're going to have something that goes something like this and then onto the roof and then maybe follow in the uh, up to the spoiler back here something like that just something that wraps the ties everything together and also the these uh, side mirrors are uh, very very cheap looking i want them um, not going to make major changes to the design of them but i'm going to change the color to be body colored so that way it looks a little bit more premium the grill is going to go remove this grill it's gone we're gonna have something black and something that you can easily fit into the chrysler lineup as they look 
uh, you know, the design that they have today. So I'm gonna have something similar to that. Same thing with the headlights, I'm going to have them be Chrysler 2019. Same kind of design, we're gonna add that into this car. Overall, we're gonna just sharpen everything up. Keep this line that we had on the rear, uh, from the rear view, same thing here. Remove these chrome parts here. Not much chrome on this car. I don't like chrome. And the wheels, we're gonna take them straight from the rear view paste them on here because obviously we need the wheels to be the exact same wheels that we had in the rear view. Also this roundness in the bottom of these windows is going to go as well. I want to have a sharp corner to add the baseline as I was talking about in the first video. Yes, as I said in the beginning, go check the uh, rear view first because it's going to make a lot more sense what, what I'm talking about right here when you see the rear view and then you can kind of think for yourself how are we going to apply this into a front view before I show you the end result of this? If you've checked it already, that's great. So now let's jump into, uh, we are in Photoshop, let's continue in Photoshop and let's jump into the redesign. Let's get to work and let's see what we can do with this PT Cruiser front view. Okay, so here we have the PT Cruiser, the beautiful PT Cruiser in the front view. So when we're working on a car like this, we have the proportions. The proportions are already there. What we're going to do is work on the graphics and make some changes to the body of design, of course. But mainly, when we have a car like this that's already existing and we want to refresh it or update the design of it, we already have the proportions. So, we start by figuring out the graphic design of the car that we're sketching. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm using the airbrush and a hard round brush just to put ideas down in just 100% black to figure out what kind of graphic face that I want this PT Cruiser to have. I wanted to add some quirkiness to this design because it also, it, it's already a quirky design, so why not add to it? The Chrysler logo in for these PT Cruiser or the Chrysler logo in general has some wings to it. If you've seen the logo, you know what I'm talking about. And I wanted to have that something graphically in this face of the PT Cruiser. So I figured we can maybe add that into the grill of the car. So we have a line that extends underneath the bonnet and kind of extends from the top corner of the grill and just makes a cut into the hood or the front fender on each side. And I think that looks really good on this redesign. So I decided to keep that. And from there, now we have the graphic design down. So now it's all about adding the details to this car. And that's what takes the most time is to make it look like it's actually a real car. And you have to think about the light source and all of that, as you already know. And that's actually what's taking the most time in this redesigns. For the wheels, I just copy pasted the wheels from the rear view, as I said in the brief that we were going to do. I just love these wheels. I think it fits the overall feeling of the PT Cruiser. They're very simplistic and stylish looking wheels. Overall, when I was doing this redesign, I, I always had to think about how far do we want to take the changes to the original PT Cruiser, because it is a very special design. It's a unique design. So if we make it into, if for example, I was thinking about these fenders, front fenders, how much do I want to change them or how much of them should I keep? Because if we keep changing them and then they all of a sudden, you know, after a while, they just starts to not exist at all anymore. And what we've done then is to create a new car and it's not recognizable as a PT Cruiser anymore. So you kind of have to find that balance between what are the details that you want to upgrade or, or redesign and what are the major features that makes this into what it is. So what are the major features that makes this into a PT Cruiser. And ob obviously for this car, it has a lot to do with the front fenders and the original proportions of the car. For the grill and the headlights, I took parts that already exist from Chrysler models and just modified them like this and skewed them and worked with the perspective and all of that to make it fit what it is I wanted to fit within. So that was that, that was pretty fun because you have to make sure that it you already have a design, you have the graphic design and then you have all these elements or design details that you want to make fit within those graphical elements. So when, you, when, when I'm sketching like this, the reason I'm using black is because I can always go back to each separate part of the render and render them 
to whatever material I want. So this, for example, is semi-glossy, this list that goes around the, the, uh, the grill. So that it's very easy when you have black to just add white to the extent that you need white and so on. And you do you go you go through every single detail that you have in black and you render them as you go depending on what material you want them to be. Now this design is going to change all the way up to the last minute of this video. I had you know so usually I just finish a design and then I go take a break and then I come back and that's when you see all the changes that the final changes that you want to make. That's when you see when when you've rested your mind from constantly looking at it. You kind of it's really hard to see if there is anything you want to change if you just look at it straight through and not taking a break. So I finished the design. I took a break and then I realized that there are a few minor changes that I want to make before I'm finished with it. So that happened at the pretty much the last minute of this video. So what I'm doing right here is um, rendering the headlights. I took inspiration from a, I think it was a Chrysler 300 headlight. And then of course modified it to fit within the design or the graphics that I already have. And that was a bit of a challenge, especially with the far side headlight right here because you need to think about the depth as well. So these pieces within the headlights, they, they sit further back. They're not, you know, in the surface of the body of the car. They need to sit further in. So you kind of have to think about that and what kind of perspective you're looking at this car from. And from that, you make the decision of how far back should you move the pieces that are inside of the assembly. So from here, there are basically just a few minor details left, such as the uh, lower intake. I need to render that. I need to render all the plastic pieces that go in there. I also want to have some sort of light down there as a fog light or something like that because the original had it so why not add it to the redesign as well the change that i wanted to make uh when i came back after my coffee break was i think the headlights they are a little bit too small so that's the final change that i'm going to make to this video i haven't made that change yet but you're going to see it in the end of this video just increase a little bit the size of the headlights to make them fit the grill more it just looks a lot better proportionally well 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 there we have it that's our mini project that I'm gonna call the 2019 PT Cruiser front view rear view the whole package I'm gonna show you both views side by side at the end of this video so you can see the whole uh, all the angles any angle that you want of the car this was kind of different for me because when you're sketching when you're only focusing on one view for example the rear view you don't really you don't really think about the uh, design language too much because you only have to uh, work on it from one single view. But if you're doing the front view as well, or if, you, or if you're doing both views, it gets a little bit more tricky because you need to have the same kind of styling in the rear as you have in the front. For example, the headlights need to have some sort of resemblance to the rear lights or some design features in the front needs to have some, uh, you know, you need to be able to connect it to the something in the rear as well. So you have to take it a bit a uh, step further. I had a lot of fun with this mini project and if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. That's the only way for me to know if I should make more of them or should I just focus on uh, single, single perspective views or something like that. So hit, make sure you hit the like button. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't subscribed already, you might wanna do that because I drop these videos every single week, new designs, new cars and uh, new craziness all together in Photoshop. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. I'm the Sketch Monkey. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.